world's jewels will be mine. The green flag is out. Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas. This is Bob Jenkins, and alongside me for the race is analyst Benny Parsons. Benny, Texas Motor Speedway is the place to be this weekend. Bob, Texas is going to be a tough track for these drivers to master. It's very fast, but the groove is not all that wide. I expect to see some crumpled fenders today. In his first race against his father, Dale Earnhardt Jr. outdrove him to the finish line in a sixth place finish. Wonder if there's any jewels around here. 1999 is Dale Jr.'s first season in the senior NASCAR series. Terry Labonte's number five car is in second place. There's a wreck on the front straight. Caution is out. Ken Schrader is out of today's race. Oh, Luigi lost. This time it won't be that easy. The numbers on the roof of the car must read from the driver's side and cannot exceed 32 inches. This helps the scores in the infield stands read the numbers easier. Let's try hitting the target with a ball to see what happens. We're back to racing. Ready? Let's go! Ricky Rudd's tied car makes a run. That car is running like the rabbit on a dog track. Dale Jarrett has second place. One more spot to go. To the Marmalade! Terry Labonte's number five car is in second place. He really seems to be in control out there. Smackaroonie! Car high! What, do you live under a rock or something? Ricky Rudd's tide car makes a run. Sterling Marlin has moved up. Oh, that was slick. Cars on both sides. Whoa! Sweet mother of Mike! Whee! This isn't too bad. The purpose of the front air dam is to keep air from going under the car. The air dam adds more downforce to the front of the car and reduces drag overall. Each car is inspected pre and post qualifying as well as pre and post race. Some of the things that are included in the inspection include front air dam clearance, rear spoiler height, engine compression ratio, manifold clearance, and restrictor plate placement. Passing in a turn can be a tricky proposition. It takes nerves of steel to pull it off. But if you do, your chances of winning a race are very good. Third position belongs to Rusty Wallace's number two car. And the race is up. Crash in turn one. The yellow flag is out. The race is over for Ward Burton's number 22 car. Ricky Craven is out of today's race. Come back here! I said come back! Well, I bet I'll get it next time. Nowadays, stock cars are adorned with all kinds of sponsor decals, but that wasn't always the case. In the 1940s, numbers were the only graphic on the entire car. The 50s saw the engine's horsepower painted on the hood, and by the 60s, teams began to realize the benefits of sponsors and started slapping decals on their cars. You can affect the direction of the ball by moving the left analog stick right and left. The green flag is out and we're back to racing. All right! The number one spot belongs to Rusty Wallace. Dale Jr. is in second place. Clear high. Dale Jarrett is third. Car low. The number four spot belongs to Terry Lavanti. Keep low. Fifth place belongs to Sterling Marlin. Jeff Burton is sixth. The number seven spot belongs to Dale Earnhardt. Bobby Labonte is eighth. Ricky Rudd is ninth. Stay high. Bill Elliott is tenth. Just as planned. Trouble for Texas Terry. He's steadily losing positions. Hey, wait for me! It's all over if you fall. Keep low. I wonder what caused Shadow to lose his memory. Mark Martin has gained several positions. He's charging through this field. The world looks so small and stylish. Mark Martin takes a spot away. He's picking them off one at a time. Time to go. 
Bobby Labonte's number 18 car takes a spot away. He's working his way up through the field. That goose sure can waddle. It looks fun. Let's get in. Rusty Wallace takes a spot away in the number two car. Battling for position. Good day, Vegemite. The rail lights up right before the laser fires. The Goodyear Eagle radial racing tire is equipped with an inner safety shield, also called a tire within a tire. If a tire gets cut and deflates, the inner tire supports the car until the driver gets back to the pits. Omega's attack will knock out that giant cannon! They're heading into the pits. We're counting on you to break this stone door. Halfway home, keep it up! Oh yeah, baby, this makes us a team. Rusty Wallace is headed for the pits. What's this do? Third position belongs to Bobby Labonte's number 18 car. And the race is on. The number 28 car of Kenny Urban is moving up in a hurry. Car high. Time and through. Wow. Earnhardt's GM Goodwrench car is moving up in a hurry. The number two slot belongs to the number 99 car of Jeff Burton. One more spot to go. We'll take that Chaos Emerald. Elliott's number 94 car is making a run. It's hard to hear the cars over all the cheering fans. Wow, I fall real good. Just as planned. Change the camera to the leader's view with the right analog stick. Great racing continues here at Texas Motor Speedway. We can destroy the duct on the floor and go down from there. Teams will do all they can to help their driver finish a race so he can pick up as many valuable points as possible. Deal. You low on fuel. What a time to run out of gas. Come on, check your fuel, buddy. I can't see what I'm walking on. It's hard to find any information on Eggman. Texas Motor Speedway ranks as the second largest sports facility in the country and the third largest in the world. What a bright city. Slower traffic can cause big problems for the lead cars. Why don't we try up there? Looks like some service for Dale Jr. I think flying to the shore on the other side is possible. What's up with these ruins? They move when you approach them. We'll fill her up. Get back out there and race. Winning is everything. Burton's number 99 car has moved into the lead. He might have the strongest car out there today. This is the ultimate power. Why don't we do a lower route? First place belongs to Jeff Burton. Second place belongs to Dale Earnhardt. The number three spot belongs to Rusty Wallace. To jump from rail to rail, use the left analog stick and press the X button. Boy, this is a great race. Mm, not bad. The Mobile One car takes a spot away. He's picking them off one at a time. Hey, that's something else. I think Omega's punch will make this thing work. Dale Jarrett moves up a spot. He's working his way up through the field. To the rocking chair. Press the square button when I'm by myself to detonate the dummy ring bomb. It stuns approaching enemies. Ernie Irvin takes a spot away. He's picking them off one at a time. Look out, world! Here comes Lenny! Look out! Ow! Bobby Labonte's Interstate Batteries car is in third place. He's moving up on second place. The more coins, the better. Help! Clear high. Ow! Car low. Pass the chopsticks. Stay high. Who would have thought it would be here? Stay low. Possessions are fleeting. The white flag is out. Stay low. <laughs> you find it me, but you still got to beat me to the playpen. Dale Jr. is now running in third place. He should just concentrate on the leaders now. 
Hmm, not bad. Target direction depends on formation. Press Clear the high. X button to fire and square button to cancel when in power formation. Change the cannon direction with the left analog stick. Dale Jarrett moves up a spot. He's picking them off one at a time. Dale Earnhardt Jr. takes a top five finish home. It's all too easy for me.